to the receive side of the Moonraker Master hand portal from around about 1983-1985. So on the receive, the first thing I'm going to do, if you've been looking at the transmit one first, I made up a chart, we're adjusting um, on receive transformer 1, 2, 3 and transformer 4 is the detector. Let's start with the detector, I put an S9 signal on the test uh, signal generator which is 100 microvolts into the external aerial socket we've got the um, we've got the monitor loudspeaker and the Motorola Synad meter and an oscilloscope plugged into the um, output there and what we're going to do is look for maximum recovered audio from the detector coil T4 and as I said before this is a working set and that is perfect so we'll drop the signal generator as you can hear I've now done and now we'll adjust transformer 1, 2 and 3 so transformer 1 is that one Transformer 2 and Transformer 3, we'll use the yellow 2. The antenna connection is dirty on the radio. And there we go. And that's all there is to it no more adjustments so that is 0 0.3 of a microvolt 0.15 it's got the sensitivity it certainly works very well though the selectivity on these isn't great if you've experienced them but of course it's hand portable use it as a base station and it may well be a bit ropey so we need to set the S meter I think next RV1 and RV1 I don't short out the power supply is the right hand one there so an S9 signal on the signal generator and we've got all of the lights lighting um, so we'll adjust that so it's just lighting so off can't see this that you can now so we've got three lights lighting I want four to just come on there we go so if I drop the signal a bit it it does go off a bit so there we have it that's that set now the squelch squelch doesn't work brilliantly on these if I remember rightly so we're going to set Turn the carrier off, squelch for threshold, advance the signal, comes in at one microvolt. So now we'll put the squelch to full. Uh, never comes in. Okay, so we need to adjust um, RV2. Now the squelch has come in, so we'll do that test again. So squelch is on full. That's coming in at one microvolt. This is the problem with these, it's got little effect. So we'll set the squelch once again to threshold. That's threshold, just about. Comes in at one microvolt, squelch to full. 
you know, then you're wanting to adjust the RV3 again. Sorry, RV1. Right, we'll try again. That actually comes in to about uh, just over 9, S9. It drops off at S8. So that actually seems to work. So we'll just turn, set the threshold again. Coming in at one microvolt, squelch to full, comes in about just about plus 30. So I've managed to set that right, really, but I don't think much to these squelch never did do. And all the handles in this series, like the Harvards and the Harriers, the earlier ones, are, are, use the same ropey circuit it uses the internal squelch of the MC3357, which is never brilliant. So that was RV1. So that wraps it up. I don't think there's anything else on the radio that I can tell you about. So I'll just put it back together. Right, so if I hold the uh, power onto the battery clips, now we've put it back together. Um, you turn the display on and off. You've got the channel 9 switch, power high and low, and a quick flick of transmit with it on low power. And there we go. So that's it. Um, we'll probably do a, a, an on the air test. Um, I'll get um, Mr. C when he comes at the weekend to uh, go and take it and uh, six miles away and uh, and see whether we can get through. So there you go, the Moonraker Master, hand portal from around 1983. And uh, I say in our range tests, we actually got 14 miles on one of these. Um, so there you are. Thanks for watching.